if you can, it's really nice to have um, sort of set times that you work um, and just get into the discipline and the rhythm of, of, you know, just writing for an hour a day or something. You d I mean, it doesn't even have to be huge stretches of time. You can, if, if you're really focused, you can get a lot done in an hour. I read the paper every day. It's the first thing I do every morning. And I always feel like real life is far crazier and wilder and more exciting than anything I could ever invent. And so I feel like most of my ideas have always started with a new story or a character I've seen in a story or someone who's referenced in a story. And I think, oh, I wonder what they're making of this main story, this person who's been referenced, who is the doctor they once went to see or their ex or whoever it is. Um, and I think that's often where I get a lot of my inspiration. Practical tips for a young person who is about to start writing or has written a play, I think are, first of all, read it out loud to yourself. Don't feel weird about doing it. Read all the characters, do all their voices, because if you start stumbling over it and it doesn't feel right, you'll hear it when you read it. So that's the very first thing that I think you should do when you've written a scene um, or a play. If you want to build on that, you can just ask friends, people you know, to come and read it for you in a room. And that will really help, even if they're not, you know, really good at acting. Just get people to come in a room and read it out and get their feedback. You'll learn a lot just by hearing it read out and by, by watching people as they listen to something that you've written, you'll be able to tell, oh, actually, they seem to be a bit bored here, or, oh, no, they really like that bit. And that, that sort of experience is so valuable. If you've got anybody you trust in your life, anybody, brother, sister, friend, parent, carer, whatever, uh, it would be great to just show somebody your work before you submit it, just to get some perspective on it, some response, some air around it and it might make you want to change something before you send it in because ultimately theatre is a collaborative art form so the sooner you can give, give it that dialogue around it the better. For me there's a space where the internet can't reach me is quite a helpful one and that that might sound horrific to people but I, but I think that's it's about creating a space where your brain is allowed to have a conversation with itself uninterrupted. When I get stuck which does happen quite a lot. I move away from the script because I can get too hung up on whether that's good or not. Um, and I, I might pick one of the characters and do some more writing, just put them in different situations or just do like a questionnaire or something to get away from the actual story and to just get back into the groove of working out who these people are and what needs to happen. I think sometimes I have to say I'm stuck and that's okay. I need space away from this and I either need to then focus on a different project or just say, actually, I'm going to go see a film. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go to a gallery and hope that something inspires me or at least clears my head so I can think about it away from my writing um, at my desk. The most important advice I could give when writing a play is that all your quirks, all your insecurities, all your foibles, all the weird things that make you you that you think audiences might not be interested in because they're boring or cliche to you to put them on paper until you're in a room with people and share them and to see how they react. Poetry, theater is all about trying to present a new way of looking at the world to the world and those new ways sometimes are locked in your subconsciousness and, and locked in the weird ass ways you look at things and all of those things are interesting so to keep all of those and to write those into plays and to see what an audience makes of that and an extension what they make of you.